Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us for our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls, souls into heaven, heaven, especially those who most in need, of, need thy of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the crowning of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins, save us from the fires of, of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of you. To thee, thee do we send up our sighs, mourning, mourning and weeping this valley of tears. tears. Turn, Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after and this, our exile, exile show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. 
Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, God whose, whose only begotten Son, by his life, life, death, death and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal, eternal salvation. Grant, grant us, we pray, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that, that never was it known that, that anyone, anyone who fled to your protection, protection implored your help, help and sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with his confidence, I hasten to you. O Virgin of virgins, my mother, to you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, do not despise my petition, but in your mercy, Hear and answer me. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist here at the Chapel of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. With the relaxation of the measures that were put in place during the pandemic, here are some reminders regarding the proper reception of Holy Communion. Individuals may receive Holy Communion either on the tongue or in the hand, at the discretion of each communicant. 
During the distribution of communion, the minister will raise the host slightly and display it to each communicant, saying, The body of Christ. In response, the communicant replies Amen. When receiving the Eucharist, it is customary for the communicant to bow their head as a sign of reverence before the sacrament. If the body of the Lord is received by the hand, the communicant should consume it immediately upon receiving. Everyone is expected to wear modest clothes when they go to the Holy Mass, especially if they want to receive the Holy Communion. Let us be aware that the precious body and blood of the Lord are meant to be received as a source of spiritual nourishment by those who are ready and worthy. We strongly encourage everyone to go to the Sacrament of Reconciliation regularly. Good morning, sisters and brothers. We celebrate today Easter Sunday. We will now begin our Eucharistic celebration. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. This is the good news that we celebrate this Easter Sunday. The good news that fills our minds and hearts. The good news that we bring to the entire world. Let us pray that the light of the, risen, of the risen Lord may fill our minds, hearts, and lives. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
us pray. O God, who on this day through your only begotten Son have conquered death, and unlock for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man, God, raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believe, believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in, in your eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not what is on earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindly all stand. Together we pray, Christians, to the Paschal victim 
offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems, Christ who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life who died reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw revering. The tomb of Christ who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope is risen. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. Our Paschal Lamb has been sacrificed. Let us then feast with joy in the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while, st while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we do not know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Happy Easter, my dear brothers and sisters. The resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ fills our hearts with joy, with light, with peace. And let us ask the risen Lord to accompany us in our own journey of life until we reach our heavenly inheritance in the Father's kingdom. The church's proclamation on this solemn day, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. And so our gospel for today from the gospel of St. John testify to us the truth of the resurrection, that Christ indeed rose from the dead. His tomb was empty. The burial cloths that wrapped his dead body is now set aside because the Lord is truly risen. The Lord is risen and we Christians rise with him. The Lord is victorious and we Christians 
are victorious with Him. The Lord is risen and now sits at the Father's right hand. And we Christians have a place in the heavenly kingdom. The resurrection of Jesus is not only an event in the past that we call to mind. The resurrection of Jesus is a reality that enfolds our life, our existence, and our destiny as Christians. And so let us reflect on this joyful message and how this joyful message affects our life here and now. Christ is risen and we rise to new life with Him. He is victorious over sin and death. And because we are united with Him, we share His life. And that happens to each and every one of us very concretely at the moment of our baptism. When we were baptized, according to St. Paul, we die with Christ. And when we rise from the water of baptism, we rise into new life with Him. In baptism, we die to our sin and evil ways. And in baptism, we rise to a holy life with Jesus. That is why Easter is a time to recall and to celebrate and to renew our baptism. The whole 40 days of Lent leading to Easter is a preparation so that when we arrive at this day, we can renew our baptism. Because in our baptism, we die and we rise with Jesus. So concretely, my dear brothers and sisters, we share in the new life of Jesus through our baptism. That is why later on, together, we will renew our baptismal promises. That is why together we will be sprinkled with the baptismal water so that we can call to mind that we have, al that we have already died in our sins with Jesus and that we are now living a new life with Him. New life means a life of holiness. A life no longer for ourselves, a life no longer for the world that passes away, but a life lived for God. That is the meaning of our new life in Jesus. As baptized people, as Easter people, we no longer live just for ourselves. We live for God and we give glory to Him. So to celebrate Easter means to really take to heart this newness that comes from the risen Lord. It means turning away from our sins. It means orienting our whole lives toward God. It means every day, every day, living a holy life that is pleasing to God. Whatever state of life we, might, we may find ourselves in, our calling as an Easter people is the same. New life, holiness, a life lived for God. So the invitation for us is to live the tomb, the tomb of our sins. The sepulcher, the tomb is the place of the dead. But Jesus no longer belongs to the dead, and we no longer belong to death also because of him. So it means leaving the tomb behind, the tomb of our sins, the tomb of our evil ways, the tomb of our hopelessness and fears, the tombs of all negativities that hinder us from living a holy life, Easter tells us, the Lord is risen, His tomb is empty. So let us also live our places of sin and death 
behind and let us live our new life with Jesus. Second, the Lord is risen. He is victorious over sin and death. He is victorious over sufferings. And we are victorious with Him. The victory of Jesus is our victory. Because the Lord is alive, therefore, He journeys with us to strengthen us so that when we face the challenges of life, we can be victorious with Him. Dahil ho, buhay ang Panginoon, sinasamahan niya tayo sa ating paglalakbay sa buhay. Para tayo din ay maging matagumpay sa anumang pagsubok, sa anumang kahirapan, lalong-lalo na maging matagumpay sa ating pakikipagtunggali sa kasamaan at kasalanan. When we look at the risen Lord, we celebrate His victory, but we are also strengthened that if we cling to Him, we will also be victorious with Him. The tomb was not able to hold Jesus back. The tomb burst. The stone that was rolled to cover the tomb was removed. In the same way, my dear brothers and sisters, if we cling to Jesus, we will be strong and victorious with Him. Yes, in life, there will be sufferings as we have seen in the life of our Lord. Sometimes sorrows will visit us as we have seen in the life of Jesus. Sometimes death may come upon us. Maybe the death of a loved one. Maybe our own struggle with fragility, sickness, and death. Sometimes in life we will also experience that God seems to be far away. Like the prayer of Jesus on the cross. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? But in all this, my dear brothers and sisters, the news of Easter is this. We are not alone in our journey of life. The risen Lord, precisely because He is alive, journeys with us every step of the way. In good times as well as in bad. When the days are, when the days are bright and when the days are dark. When we are victorious, when we experience defeats. When we are alive and when we face death. We are not alone. The risen Lord journeys with us. And if we cling to Him, no matter what, we will be victorious with Him. The powers of death and sin will have no power over us. The tomb also cannot hold us back because we are united with Jesus. That is why Easter means hope. And dying hope. Even if things seem to be all lost, we hold on to Jesus desperately and we will be victorious with Him. Easter is about hope. We entrust everything to Jesus. He walks with us as He did. Recall the as he did with the two disciples on the way to Emmaus. These two disciples who were frustrated, hurt, despairing, can no longer figure out the meaning of their lives. At that moment, they realized the reason one was with them, listening to them, arguing with them, encouraging them, explaining to them the meaning of life, the meaning of scriptures, breaking the bread with them. The Lord is risen 
and He journeys with us. He is alive, and because He is alive, He is our companion, our companion in the journey of life. And this should fill us with hope, undying hope. Because Good Friday will always lead to the joy of Easter. Darkness will always lead us to the dawn. Death will always give way to life because Christ is risen. So the Easter people, that's who we are, are people of hope because Christ is victorious and we are victorious with him. Lastly, Christ is risen, therefore we have a place in the heavenly kingdom. Christ is risen so that he can bring us with him in the Father's glory. Easter reminds us that we are not permanent residents of this passing world. That this passing world is temporary. Our true destiny is where the risen Lord is in the Father's glory. So Easter reminds us, or Easter redirects our whole life towards our heavenly goal, our heavenly destiny. That is the reminder of St. Paul in our second reading. Seek what is above, not only what is earthly, but what is above. Because we are an Easter people. Because Christ is risen, heaven, heaven, when all things pass away, we have a place in heaven. And therefore, while we journey on this earth, let us keep our minds and hearts focused on heaven. The words of St. Paul, seek what is above. Seek not only what is earthly, but what is heavenly. So as an Easter people, we are citizens of heaven. We are all temporary settlers in this world. Our true home is where Jesus is, in heaven. So let us set our goals aright. Let us target our destiny, heaven. Let everything we do on this world lead us to heaven. Let us move forward in life, confident that we have a place in the Father's kingdom because Jesus is risen. Let us continue our celebration. My dear brothers and sisters, let us praise the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for this gift of new life in Jesus. Let us sing our Alleluia to the risen Lord. Amen. Please all stand. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten of servants is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and all his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Now let us profess our faith in the living God. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. Do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, his only His only Son, 
who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. 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 Christ is risen, the power of His resurrection fills the whole world with new life. With hope, joy, and expectation, we bring to Him all our needs, saying, Risen Lord, hear us. Risen Lord, hear us. That the Church may boldly and faithfully proclaim the resurrection of Christ, to those who do not yet believe in it, we pray. Risen Lord, hear us. That the leaders of the church may embody the mysteries of new life, which we celebrate in our liturgy, we pray. Risen Lord, hear us. That the leaders of our nations and world may give priority to those with greatest need in the distribution of the world's basic resources, we pray. Risen Lord, hear us. That the newly baptized and confirmed and those received into full communion with the Catholic Church may continue to grow with this community in worship and service, we pray. Risen Lord, hear us. That those who have died may one day Share in the promise of new life, promised for us by the resurrection, we pray. Risen Lord, hear us. Let us now take a moment of silence to pray for our personal intentions, the intentions offered in this Mass, and all the prayer requests that have been entrusted to our chapel. We pray. Risen Lord, hear us. God of glory, you know the deepest desires of our hearts. As we celebrate the resurrection, make us faithful to you in all we do. 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer you the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we first offer you for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, especially those for whom we now pray. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them, we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating this most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that they're through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, approve this offering in every respect so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace, especially those for whom we now pray. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in His compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may He who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of His only begotten endow you with the price of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, you may celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast. Come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Father.